All right, welcome everybody. This is the final stretch now that we're coming up to in ASM 2021. And this is Bioshock 2 Minerva's Den. And so I'll hand over to Benny. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Benedictator here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do some Bioshock 2 Minerva's Den. This is um, a pretty quick speed run, but it's really cool. It's, it's one of my favorites. And, uh, you know, for anybody who's played the Bioshock games, Bioshock 2 Minerva's Den is kind of considered to be like the best Bioshock content that's ever made. So it's a really good DLC. Um, and yeah, and just another cool little fun fact is I actually got um, world record just this last week while I was practicing for this run. So we'll see if we can smash out another run. But yeah, I'm excited to run. I'll go ahead and load it up and I'll give you guys a countdown and we can rock and roll. Um, so we'll just load up the start point here and uh, yeah, all right, here we go. Um, we'll start in like five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right, so we start out underwater, Hello? just hopping around. Can you hear me? There's like a few underwater, or a couple underwater parts in this uh, in this round, and we hop around while we're underwater. Helps us. Oops, we got a little stuck on a little geometry there. Um, move a little faster for hopping around under here. And we're gonna hop over this little railing here. Point. Hopefully, unless I mess it up. There we go. You have to like jump from a certain spot, otherwise, I don't know, it's just a little too high normally. And here we go, inside. Minerva's den has been cut off from the rest of Rapture for some time, but not cut off from splicing. Don't let your guard down. The den's gone dark, but if you can reset the local power relay, okay. I'll be able to get the juice flowing from here. Pick up some, uh, some loots on the floor here. Bounce, bounce. Get that real feel there. All right. So now we get to fight some enemies and some action here. So a big part of this game, the resource management is kind of important in Bioshock 2. It's kind of a difference between Bioshock 2 and Bioshock 1. Bioshock 1, you never really have to worry about the amount of supplies or cash monies that you have. Um, but we definitely like want to watch our drill fuel in this run. So these spider splicers, these two enemies in particular need to die before this message that we're listening to is finished. Beep, 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 beep. We don't really need to kill those guys, but it does make life a little easier. Um, like, the next section only starts loading once those two enemies are dead. So this little trick this is the thing I kind of figured out the other day. It probably only saves, like, maybe a second or two, but we can hop over that counter instead of, like, running around and going through a door. When we get that tonic, that is sports boost. Allows us to run a little faster, so it's a good get. It's a good get for the speed runs. Um, now we're gonna get our little hacking tool. So, like I said, some resource management with the uh, the auto hacks, which allow us to just like obviously auto hack a little hacking mini game sequence. So we can just get through doors really quick. Um, so it's important to make sure we grab all those little auto hack darts that we can grab. And this hack tool ends up being kind of an important component of the game. So that's the hacking sequence. That's a normal one. There's only a few spots where we need to use the auto hack. That guy, he helps us. He helps us do a little crowd control. You're welcome to try. So we are gonna get ourselves set up for a death work coming up here, which um, we're only skipping traveling time basically we're not like skipping past any of the lock doors so as far as we're concerned it's it's allowed okay get another couple darts i'm gonna grab this explosive barrel and we're gonna put this right here so we can grab it on our way out of here okay so like i said we're gonna get ourselves set up for a death warp this whole while i was getting all those darts and getting that explosive set up we were just waiting for this timer for this door to finish um, the door is finished we're good i'm gonna go collect a little bit of loot now we are gonna go and heal up all the way max max health and get ourselves set up for a death warp here like i say we're gonna take a certain amount of damage Boom. now we're basically ready as soon as um as soon as we take like the next little itty bit of itty bit of damage, you'll die. 
how you collide okay. with this okay. train. So wait. To steal the I should say the next time we take a little itty bitty damage. It it depends. Um there's like invincibility frames, right, in this game. So once you take uh enough damage to kill you, then it like gives you invincibility for like four seconds, three, four seconds, and then the next time you take damage you die. So we can, we're, we're getting ourselves just the right amount of health to do this right. So we're gonna hack this, except we're gonna fail it to give ourselves a little bit of damage. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna trigger our invincibility frames like right here. We're gonna drop that barrel, pick up the spear gun, and now we're ready to die. Pow. That was nice and quick. Has predicted your every move, Sigma. It, it knew you would be here. It knew you would be here. Be next. All right. It knows that you... Now we're gonna get ready to hack. We're gonna get our auto hack out. We're gonna hack this door. Now we're gonna get our drill dash. This is where things actually get fun. Oh, that's awful. I can't believe I hit that wooden plank there. It's not the end of the world, but it's not fun. All right, we got this. Now we're gonna drill dash around. Zoom. There's like an art to this drill dashing. Oh, that was weird. It zoomed me right into the wall there. That was kind of strange. Not the finest movement of my life, but that's okay. Yeah, drill dashing is like, it's kind of an art. There's a way you can like bend it around corners if you're, whatever, if you do it just right. Alright, take that guy out, hit the switch, boom. Now, normally this way is blocked by this... By, uh, that that uh, hook there, but if we just hit that guy with our laser gun, um, it causes that drill to move away, so we can just start shooting him as soon as we turn the corner, basically. And now we're done with this area. Bye, bye. Zooms. I don't want you guys to be in my way. There we go. Zooms. Zooms. Alright, so we got our, our electric bolt, which we need to get past certain parts of the game. Now we're going to go get our gravity well, which we also need to get past certain parts of the game. And the gravity well is like a super cool, a super cool class, but it's like a really nice addition for this DLC. It makes it feel cool. I'm trying to get some grill fuel that's hiding under there. I'll have to get it on my way out. Okay, don't be like this to me, game. I want that drill fuel. Where did it go? It's hiding. It got knocked out. It got moved somewhere. Oh well, I guess I just don't get that drill fuel. It's fine. We'll survive. It's just kind of unfortunate. Alright, we'll take a little bit of damage here. Then we're gonna climb up this, get our gravity well. Boom. And then we're gonna do another death warp. Alright. We we getting it. We getting it. We had a little bit of a couple slow parts there, but that's fine. Not the end of the world. Alright, now we'll zoom on out of here. Oh, well, just throw that down there so they don't chase after us, I guess. This gravity well is like a super nice um plasmid for people that are body blocking you. Like it just gets them out of the way. Creates a little black hole and sucks all the enemies up and you can walk right through them. So if anybody's blocking your way, you just psh, gravity well them. Pretty nice. I like the old-timey music during these loading scenes. So I'm gonna dance. Okay, so there's like three, basically three levels to this DLC. It's the one we just did, Minerva's Den. Then there's Operations, which we're going through right now. Uh, the banker, which is kind of like a boss level. So it's pretty short, sweet, sweet and to the point. So we get a little bit of a timer here after this next message plays. There it is. Oh no, we're getting bad dialogue. How sad. Okay, so and it's fine. It'll just take like a little bit longer. But like, you, if you can see um, Porter's CM Porter's message is playing like in the bottom right hand corner, but no dialogue is coming through. Um, it's just, like, a thing that happens sometimes. The dialogue just kind of gets messed up sometimes. We don't exactly know why, but it does happen, so... We'll just kind of, like, hang out for... Oh, my, uh... My trap dart didn't want to go through. That's too bad. Sometimes it fizzles out. Yeah, so this... 
This will just take like, a, we'll just chill here for like a minute. Normally, an enemy would have spawned by now right about there and we could laser her down and it will unlock that door. It'll still happen, but it's just going to take like, take a second. I guess if you have any donos, now's a good time to read them. <laughs> uh, no more donos, okay. but I will just mention to people that we do have one more incentive left in this marathon, which is the language choice for Super Monkey Ball which is going to be the next run that we're doing. And currently German is in the lead in $73. And the other choices that you've got are English and Italian, which are on 30 and 20, respectively. There you go. Good reason to donate. Well, there's just donating itself is a good reason to donate, but if you need an incentive, there it is. All right. So there we go. That's that's the little sequence that I was looking for. It just, whatever. It's just weird. The dialogue, I, it might get fixed pretty soon. Sometimes it gets fixed like right around after this part. Yeah, like I say, it's kind of kind of goofy, right? Not exactly sure why that happens, but it, it just happens sometimes. Um, but it's fine. I mean, the run will still be the same. It doesn't really change anything. It just just makes us wait. It looks like the dialogue might still be messed up, so there might be, I think, like one other part where we might just have to wait for like a minute. But yeah, that's all right. That's why I give a little. That's why I give like another minute or two usually on my estimates, is just in case this thing right here happens. Okay, so we are helping to get a beacon to help send out. I think a relay or like a SOS type message or maybe we're calling for backup i don't remember exactly what what's going on story-wise i just know that we have to go collect that thing off an old broken down bathysphere um before we go to uh i think it's reed wall's office and go to his computer terminal maybe it's the importer's office somebody's office we're going to an office you see sometimes i like to um jump before like a menu appears or whatever and that's just so we don't lose any like forward momentum when a uh, menu does pop up like that. These guys are being pretty brutal. Their damage, they're, just, they're really actually kind of doing a lot of damage to me. Weirdly, it's fine. It's fine. All right, two, three, four, one. Boom, got it. Oh, trying to jump over that little bookcase a little early. Alright, here's a little terminal that we need to deal with. I'll do some hackings while that's going on. Got it. Yeah, another another weird moment where we just gotta just sit here and kinda wait. I think this is the last moment that we have to do this. But yeah. Goofy dialogue. We got lucky. Our, the RNG was not kind to us. <laughs> that's alright. There we go. Got it. And now we'll zoom on out of here. I hope. If the hack turned out right, we'll grab an auto dart from... I don't know where exactly that comes from, but I do know that we can telekinesis it to us. Alright. We will get some more drill fuel from this thing before we move on. There we go. We'll bust through this door. Actually, that other big daddy busts through it, but we move through it whenever it opens. Alright, let's see if I can do this. I've been having trouble with this. You gotta move around this corner. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, nice. Okay, you gotta collect that stuff, like, while the screen is loading up like that. Or at least that's the fast way to do it. And I did it. Come on. Let's hop over this thing. Wow. Like I say, these guys are doing a weird amount of damage. Alright, I know some places where I can get some some first aid kits lying around. It's just goofy. But I thought I missed that throw for a second. Do some drill dashes, we're gonna do some moving around. You get a first aid kit right down. Oops, right down there. Not that. There you go. Look for a down bathysphere. 
They each had a signal beacon we could use. Out of my way, guy. Make yourself at home, Sigma. Pardon me, fools. So you also will be rusting here. Pardon me, fools. Use the pipe and tossed on the heat. Out of my way, people. Nice, nice. All the doors open for me. The beacon to the master input console in the programming way. Bought some loots. That paranoid bastard wall had it installed in his office. Hi, guy. Zoom past him. Grab that drill fuel. Get out of here. Some decent movement there. Apparently, we had a good amount of money because I was able to get everything I needed. That's good. Alright. There we go. That's operations. Okay, and now we're on to the third and like final level, the thinker. So it's just some traveling and then it's basically the boss fight and then some slow walk-ins to the end. These jams. I like these old jams. I do. We'll come up here and shoot this guy, shoot the camera so it doesn't send enemies, and then we switch our ammo to the solid slug because it just does a lot of damage. Take care of that guy. Apparently I missed with one of those shots, which is fine. Alright. And we just wait, wait for this dialogue for a second, and we'll start moving down through these tunnels and all. On our way to the boss fight. Alright, so we gotta electrobolt this door open, but this door is like really weird and annoying. You have to like wait, and then you have to zap it, and then you like have to move back here. And that's not even like glitching. That's, or, you know, we're not doing tricks. That's just to get the, the door to open. It's really, I don't know, it's really weird. It's got some sort of a weird trigger to it. Like to the point where it's even kind of confusing during like a casual playthrough. You just be sitting there like, why won't this door open? I've zapped this thing like five times. Ooh. Miss, moved my uh, twist my camera around. Sometimes they'll do that when you're drill dashing. If a reed wall there is near you, it'll just like auto target him. Alright, there we go. Now we just wait for some dialogue. You did not listen. When the pangs of familiarity sting you, my friend, you will have only yourself to blame. Put some loots. These rocks are good. We're gonna get a, a little grenade launcher in a second. Some cash monies. The money's good. There's, um, once we get out of this door, there'll be one more, uh, little merchant gatherer's garden that we can buy some supplies from before we do our boss fight. So we'll grab some ammo, some drill fuel. How are we doing on mini turrets? All four. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, this game's so, I don't know. This game has, like, the laser gun, which is awesome. It's also got the gravity well, which is great. Um, and the, just the story of Minerva's Den is really solid. Um, it's just a very, all in all, a very good uh, DLC. All right. Grab some rocket ammo. We're going to get some drill fuel. Or, yeah, drill fuel. We are going to get maybe some trap spears and heat-seeking rockets, and we are good to go. Get that message to play. I'm going to come back. Oh, where did it go? Did I drill dash all these things out of the way? Wow, where did they go? Normally there's like a little um, explosive canister right there, but I must have like totally yeeted it out of the way when I did that drill dash. That's fine. I was just going to bring it into this room. We're going to have some enemies in here later, so I like to have the explosive in here to do some AoE damage against them. Okay, so wait for a little dialogue. Reed Wall is going to come talk to us. Reed Wall is like the antagonist, the, the big bad guy or whatever. Um, then he's going to send some big daddies after us, and they'll smash the window open. And we'll go with, we'll go with the old rocket spear. The rocket spear ammo. Do some splash damage if I can end up, manage to group these guys up together. Let's get some full electrobolt. We'll waste it all so that we recharge it. I can zap these guys and shoot them with rockets. There he is. Wow, that was really, really clean. Alright. 
Now, we'll face this way. As long as we're facing this way, these next enemies should spawn right behind us. I heard them growl. There we go. Oh, there he is. Oh, you didn't take any damage from that stuff? Yeah, he did. <laughs> that was a funny way for him to die. He charged at us with a rocket exploding in his head. That kind of made me laugh. Alright. Toss our little turrets down there. The big bad guy is about to spawn right here. We'll charge up our weapon. Zap. Pow. Charge it up again. Zap. Pow. Right, there we go. That was a pretty clean fight. Take the administrator punch card from Ball's body and reactivate the thinker. There we go. Now we just wait for some dialogue. We do a little bit of walking around for a couple minutes after that, and that's basically it for the run. Not as good as my my world record run that I got the other day, but but pretty decent. Just had some body blocking issues here and there, some some slowdowns with the weird dialogues, but that's fine. Charles Milton Porter. This is the big twist at the end of this you DLC right know here. Why I, let the machine speak for you, Mr. Porter. I won't spoil it for anybody who might actually want to play through it, but it's a pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little twist. With that copy of the thinker's I've been I've been told that it's like I think somebody told me it was kind of like a um, Mass Effect plot twist, but I don't know. I, I never played that game. I heard it's good. Alright, anyways. Yeah, so, now we just kind of walk out of here. I, I guess I'll grab the audio diary. It, like, gives you enough time to listen to an audio diary while you're walking out of here. That's kind of the whole point. Usually I don't, because it takes another second to grab that, but let's just, let's enjoy this audio diary together. I'm done feeding audio recordings and personal anecdotes to the thinker. It gets you in the I feels, this the audio diary, if you've been paying attention to the story. Gets you. Target personality. Pearl Porter. Thinker, are you ready? Yes, Milton. <laughs> yes, Milton. Starting test. Hello, Pearl? Hello, Milton. How? <clears throat> How have you been? Just wonderful, Milton. I've missed you, though. It's been so long. Pearl, I... No. No, this isn't right. It isn't her. Thinker, stop the test. The Thinker never gave up on you, Mr. Porter. Mm. It could not mm. leave you behind. It's very, it's very good. Please All right, anyways. Step up to the console and begin the Bathysphere launch sequence. We have much work It's sad. It's sad. All right. Here we go. Once we hit that lever, we are done with the run. So probably like five, four, three, two, one. There we go. All right. That is it for Minerva's Den. A very fun little run and just a good DLC all around. Um, so now I do have, I know that the incentive was met for the um, little Spitfire minigame. So unless there's anything you need to do for that, I'll go ahead and just get that going here. Um, so yeah, there's kind of a cool, kind of a cool little mini game in this DLC. It's a game within a game within a game, right? A game within a DLC of a different game, whatever. Anyways, so this is like it's supposed to be like the first video game ever made, right? Um, and it's basically just like old school asteroids, but you can find it in the DLC on this little computer terminal up here. Once this loads. Okay, here it is. <laughs> That's right, I forgot about this. This made me laugh. When I was just making the save, just whatever, the other day, I was kind of making my way up here and killing any enemies that that were around, and this uh, enemy died right on top of the monitor, so she's just going to hang out with us and, and watch me play Spitfire here. Um, but I'll kind of grab this audio diary that sort of like explains what's going on with this little game, so we can we can listen to that. Some of the boys in the code pit whipped up a real doozy of an entertainment. 
monitor screen hooked into a sort of tiny airplane cockpit, yeah? And that's swell, because what shows up on screen is an X, that's you, and a bunch of O's, like a Spitfire surrounded by a squadron. Thank you for the GGs, heroes. by the way. You fly your little X around and shoot them down one after another. The wall caught us at it one night, called it a waste of time. I don't know. On balance, ain't it better to change waste what's of time. on screen than just stare at it? Alright, so there you go. There you go. Boss got mad that he was making video games. Let's go ahead and play it. Here we go. So, like, the objective is to get, like, 9,999 points, which it's, it goes pretty quick. You get a lot of points every time you kill a thing. Um, and then, like, the game bugs out because it can't handle all that memory or something. But uh, oh, the other, like, weird thing, it, I'm pretty sure this game was, like, designed for a controller, so the controls with a mouse and keyboard are a little wonky and kind of goofy, so hopefully I don't mess up. But here we go. You like you get three lives for a game over here. Yeah. Pew 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 pew. Woo. Got to be careful. Play defensive is what I what I found out. While well, while well, figuring out how to do this without dying all the time. Woo. Yeah, it's like hard to tell where exact. Oh no, they got me. They got me. Where exactly my cursor is? Just because with the mouse, it's it's goofy, like I say. Oh, and those flashy ones are worth a lot of points. Got it. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, God, they coming. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, they coming. Not hit nothing at the, this point. There we go. Oh, I missed it. How sad. What a sad day. Woo, they got me. Okay, come on now. Come on now. <laughs> I failed. All right. I get, I get my one last. Ooh, wow, wow. They came out strong here. My one last life. <clears throat> got him. Got him. I think these each give like 100 points per little enemy that you kill. But I think those flashy ones, I think, of like a thousand. Wow, they, that is a lot of ammo coming at me. A lot of shots. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, did I get that one? I, I don't know if I got that one in the corner. We're almost there. If I can just survive here, we're almost there. Woo! Oh no! Uh, let's see. I don't know. I can try one more time, unless unless we're getting to the point where we need to switch off. Let me know, and I can just call it call it good. But I'll give it one more shot. Ooh, it came right at me. So that was all right. It's all right. I stayed alive at least. I feel like I'm doing better so far this time. Oh, no, 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 no. Than I was last time. Yikes. Got that one. They got me. They got me. What are we at? Five. Oh, we're, we're halfway there with our first life already. That's that's a good start. Oh no! Oh no! I hit the thing. No. What are we at? Eight thousand. Okay, we should be good. I think I got a couple more, couple more lives left to get it. They come a lot. They come. Yeah, I shouldn't. It's easy enough to die. I shouldn't. Oh, there we go. Hey, I got nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, and it and it bugged out. It couldn't handle it. Too much. Too much. All right. <laughs> that's it. That's Spitfire, and that's that's Bioshock Two Minerva Ten. So, we'll go ahead and and uh. 
call it a run there. So thanks, like I say, thank you everybody for uh, letting me show off my game. I really do love this this speed run, glitch list, all collectibles, any percent. It's it's all fun for Minerva's Den. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and kind of just uh, take off and, and let you guys go on to the next player. But thanks very much. Take it easy, everybody. Thanks very much for that run. That was excellent. Yeah.